The original retail price for this suit is about $620, and I got it for $149. The two big questions we're going to go over today is how did I get it for $149, and how good is the quality of the suit? I'm Bill Sweet, and welcome to the Dad Bod. The company that would be called Joss A. Bank was started in 1905. At the time, it was called L. Hartz and Bank. In 1945, the name was changed to Joss A. Bank, and then in 2014, they merged with Men's Warehouse, but kept true to their operating methods. Men's Warehouse outsources their brands, whereas Joss Bank makes their own suits. Joss A. Bank has several different suits that they sell. I've reviewed the 1905 Navy suit. This one here I'm going to review today is the Reserve Collection. After this, I'm still going to need to review their Traveler suits, the regular 1905 suits, meaning not the 1905 Navy one that I did last time, the Executive suits, and the Travel Tech suits. I absolutely loved the 1905 Navy suit that I reviewed last time. I would be wearing it today except for it's at the tailor getting the sleeves shortened and the pants hemmed. Here are the pants. Joss Bank doesn't really give that much information for their clothing descriptions. For the pants, it says that they have a flat front, which is true, no pleats on these, lined to the knee, which is also accurate. The lining really feels nice. It actually goes just below my knees. And then these are unhemmed, which means I'll need to take these into the tailor to get them hemmed for about $15 to $20. The reason why many companies don't pre-hem their pants is because it cuts down on the inventory and overhead costs. With unhemmed pants, a store could have a shelf with one type of pants, 10 different waist sizes and 10 pairs of each, and that's 100 pairs of pants. If they pre-hem the length, similar to how we get jeans at retail stores, they would need maybe only five pairs of each at the 10 different waist sizes, which is 50 pairs, but then they would also need to account for the 10 different lengths as well, which is 500 pairs. Three times as much inventory would be needed for each type and color of pants. And since a large portion of suit wearers get their pant legs adjusted to their preference of full break, half break, or no break anyways, it makes sense not to pre-hem them from a business point of view. Similar to the 1905 Navy pants, these are a little bit snug for the size 42 waist. I know some of you guys out there are going to be saying, oh, I just gained some weight. No, nearly all of my pants, slacks, chinos, and jeans are a size 42 and they all fit just fine. So just a reminder, if you do decide to get these, go up a size in the pants. The website says that these are 100% wool and I can say that these pants do feel nice. The stitching looks real good. These are a button, latch, button with a zipper closure in the front. It's got these two pockets on the side, these two in the back, and then the mini pocket within the front right pocket. So yeah, the pants are nice enough. Let's go ahead and take a look at the jacket. I got the 50 long and the 52 long since these are mass produced. I wanted to make sure that I had one that fit for this video. All the website really says for the jacket is that it's a two button jacket with a notched lapel. It has side vents and it is 100% wool. The label on the jacket says that it's Super 110S wool, which is a decent enough quality wool and it's also made in the USA. On the left, we have the 50 long and on the right, the 52 long. With the 1905 Navy jacket that I did last time, I had to go with the 52 long, but looking at these, I'm gonna say that the 50 long fits better. Again, that's what happens when clothing is mass produced. The size that you wear for one brand or type doesn't always carry over to the different one, even within the same manufacturer. The shoulders, they fit right, no tugging on the sleeves. I can lift my arms parallel, which is how a suit should fit. Suits aren't really made to be playing basketball or football in, but you should be able to lift your arms parallel to the floor. I feel like the sleeve length is good enough where I shouldn't need to get this adjusted. There are four kissing buttons on each of the sleeves and this is for decoration only. The buttons on most affordable suits are only for decoration. There is an inner lining on this one and similar to the 1905 Navy suit, this one also has a half canvas. That means that there's a piece of fabric in between the inner lining and the outer fabric. This is gonna allow the suit to actually fit better over time and because it's not fused with glue, it breathes better. You don't find many affordable suits with a canvas lining. There are three pockets on the inside and three pockets on the outside. One, two, three. The pockets are sewn closed, so you'll either need to cut them open, which is pretty easy, or have a tailor do it for maybe $5. Some will do it for free, some charge about $5, and it takes all of about two minutes. 
All in all, I would say this is absolutely a suit worth buying. The canvas alone makes it worth the price. And then it being on clearance at $149 down from $620 makes it even better. If you wanna see some other affordable online suits to compare it to, check out this playlist here and I'll see you there.